Hi, I'm Phyllis. My website is southernfrugal.com. Tonight, and I mean it's tonight, it's like after seven, I think, but I'm going to make this recipe. So uh, what the recipe is, is a, it's really like a quiche, but it has a uh, hash brown crust, which I'm very excited about because I love hash browns. So this recipe is coming from Terry Minter from the land of Oz in Kansas. So we're going to get started making this. Now the first thing is to grease uh, a cake pan, and this is, I think, one of those 10-inch uh, Pyrex pans. And so all we're going to do is take three cups of hash browns, the loose type hash browns, and you want to thaw them out, and, and it needs to be three cups. And uh, so what I did is just spread the frozen ones out on a cookie sheet, and uh, you know, they really thaw out a lot faster that way. And we're going to combine that with four tablespoons of butter, and I just melted my butter a little bit. So I'm going to actually dump these in the butter and kind of squish them around a little bit, and then we're going to press them into the pie crust. So let's see if we can do this. And again, you want that uh, pan just slightly greased, just ever so slightly. All right, here we go. I always pick out those little black spots that always seem to be on hash browns. Probably there's nothing wrong with them, but I don't like them in there. All right, so we're just going to mix in. That butter was softened and slightly melted. And again, that butter is three cups of loose hash browns, thawed completely, and then it's four tablespoons of butter. Just mixing that all up and getting that butter mixed in. And I'm picking out the little black pieces like that. Let me move y'all closer so you can see a little bit better. There. So I'm just mixing the butter all in there. And then we're going to mash it into the uh, pie plate. And uh, Miss Terry did not say how to do that, so I'm just taking it to me, and you kind of have to do it with your fingers or something like that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and dump it in the pie plate now. And this is one of those uh, pie plates that you cook fruit pies in. You know, I think it's like 10 inches. black piece again. Alright, so I'm going to spread that out. And remember, this is going to be a crust. So I've got my oven preheated to 375 degrees. And I'm just going to use my fingers and mash this up just like it's a, almost like you were fixing a graham cracker crust. Mash it up. Press them, I guess. I don't know, I think my spatula will work better for this. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the spatula definitely works better than the fingers. Mash it all around. Again, this is the pie crust or a quiche. Stick into my spatula too, and we can do it like that. All right, so we're going to put this in the oven now and bake it for 25 to 30 minutes, and we'll be back. They find a finger that doesn't have some on it. All right, we're going to bake it again, 25 to 30 minutes. And I'm going to do it in a 375 degree oven. When it gets browned, we'll take it out. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I wanted to come back real quick and tell you what worked for me. 
is putting some saran wrap. I went ahead and washed my hands and I decided it needed to be mashed up a little bit more. So I put the saran wrap in there. Mashed it up more. And that works, plus your hands stay clean. Yeah, that looks about right to me. And then mashing the sides too. Yeah, all right. I think that looks just about right. I want it down and up on over the top. All right, y'all, we'll be back in about 25 or 30 minutes and show you what this looks like. Then we're gonna make the ingredients that go in the filling. All right, we'll be back. All right, we just took the um, hash browns out of the oven. They're ever the slightest bit brown. And so we're gonna work on the filling now. It is really late, y'all. But we're still gonna fix this tonight. All right, so we've got six eggs, and I did use large eggs here. Let me get y'all situated. There we go. A little closer. All right, so she said to beat the eggs. Let's see, I need to, and I didn't have any whipping cream, but I did have some half and half, so I'm sure that would be all right. So that's six eggs, one-fourth of a cup of, uh, she said to use whipping cream. I'm going to use a little salt there. And I'm going to beat those eggs a little bit. She said to not overbeat them. Okay, so I got everything else ready while the crust was baking. Do want to get those white speed up in there though, I'm sure. All right, I think that's good enough. I think you just don't want them to be beat till they're like foamy. All right, so now we're gonna add one cup of Monterey Jack cheese, and I did shred that again while the crust was cooking. And one cup of cheddar cheese. All right. And this is four spring onions. Now she said to use scallions, and of course I don't have any scallions, so I did uh, and those scallions are bigger than spring onions, so I used four little spring onions. I'm going to dump those in. And uh, I already had sausage cooked that I had in the freezer. So this is um, one cup of sausage, and I just kind of left them in little bite-sized pieces, really, like that. So I'm going to dump that in. And then she said, just mix that all up. Yeah, so it was, it was time enough while the uh, crust was cooking to uh, go ahead and mix up, I mean, uh, shred up both type cheeses and cut up the uh, onions and that kind of thing. And again, I had my uh, sausage already cooked in the freezer. I always do that with sausage. I just go ahead and cook all of it at one time and uh, put it in the freezer. That way, if Mr. Bucky and I have you know, like sausage eggs and grits for a meal, then all I have to do is just take the sausage out and thaw it out in the microwave. All right, I think we've got this mixed good enough. My pie crust is still hot. All right, so we're going to dump it in. I did take uh, one of, a little bowl and kind of mash that down because some of them were kind of sticking up. I'm thinking it's going to get browner on the bottom, of course, once it cooks. So this is going to cook at uh, 375 degrees for 30 minutes. Just dump that in. And it's late, but we are definitely going to have some of this tonight. Spread that out sort of evenly.
you know, that ended up being like, a, to make a cup of the sausage ended up being four cooked patties was, uh, came out to be one cup. All right, of course, these eggs are going to expand once they're cooking. And I'm assuming it's going to rise up a little bit up above. All right, y'all, we're going to put this in the oven, and we'll be back and show you what it looks like. All right, we just took this out of the oven, and it's all nice and brown, and we're going to have a piece of that in just a few minutes. Let it cool just a little bit. We'll be back. All right, this, uh, I guess we'll call it quiche. I'm sure that's what she called it. And I'm going to give it a taste. Excited. Let me show you what it looks like when it's cut. Doesn't that look great? Excited. I love hash browns. I mean, I really love them. piece with some sausage. See how brown that is? Right. Mm, it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. All right, I'm going to take Mr. Bucky a piece. Let's let him taste of it too, all right? We'll be right back. All right, here's Mr. Bucky, and he's going to give this a taste. All right. We don't usually eat anything this late, but so we're both hungry. Mm. This is good. Did you get a piece of sausage in yeah, there? Real good, yeah. Sausage is good. Mm. All right, you really like it? Yeah, I thought it was really good too. All right, y'all, we'll put uh, the recipe for this down below. And uh, there's, I really cut it in s six pieces, so We'll have two more meals out of this sometime in a week or two. Who are you growling at? You think you're going to get some quiche? Uh, you're not. No quiche for the dog. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? No, don't bite the camera. You want to play? He said, I want some quiche. All right, y'all. We will see y'all next time. Bye for now. Where's that other dog over there? <laughs>